It's been approximately three decades since NASA astronauts undertook the immensely daring mission to rescue the Hubble Space Telescope. At the time, it stood as one of the boldest endeavours conceived by scientists. Initially launched in 1990, with flawed optics resulting in blurred images, Hubble's design allowed for physical repairs by astronauts. Fast forward to recent years, and once again the venerable space telescope finds itself in need of assistance. This situation deeply concerns NASA, particularly as the agency grapples with significant financial constraints, unlike those it faced previously. However, there remains hope. NASA has forged a reliable partnership with SpaceX, a commercial entity committed to preventing the agency from reaching rock bottom. Today's video delves into the intricacies of this narrative. Hubble's turbulent journey and NASA's dilemma. The Hubble Space Telescope's recent string of incidents has plunged its future into uncertainty. NASA announced on November 29th that the telescope had entered a safe mode due to issues with one of its gyroscopes, which initially malfunctioned on November 19th. Despite efforts to restore operations, problems persisted on November 21st and 23rd. Engineers are actively investigating, with no timeline for when normal science operations will resume. While Hubble can function with a single gyro, its productivity may suffer, limiting its ability to explore the solar system fully. The Hubble Space Telescope has been facing a series of issues lately, casting doubt on its longevity. NASA revealed on November 29th that Hubble entered a safe mode due to a malfunctioning gyroscope after experiencing similar problems on November 19th, 21 and 23. Engineers are investigating, but there's no timeline for when normal operations will resume. Despite being able to function with a single gyro, some observations may be impacted, affecting productivity. Schwabel is equipped with six gyroscopes, which were installed during the fifth and final shuttle servicing mission in 2009. Unfortunately, three of these gyroscopes have since malfunctioned. The American Space Agency is confronted with two major issues regarding this matter. Firstly, despite being the wealthiest space agency globally, NASA lacks the financial resources to fund a dedicated mission for Hubble's maintenance. The total cost of servicing Hubble during its last shuttle mission, including a crew of seven, was estimated at $900 million. Furthermore, there have been political discussions aimed at reducing the budget allocated to the telescope in 2024. Consequently, NASA is contemplating budget cuts for its two largest space telescopes, Hubble and Chandra. The reduction in spending on astrophysical programs has been notably pronounced, primarily due to the prioritization of the costly Artemis program. The organization had anticipated increased funding in its budget proposal for fiscal year 2024. Specifically, the space agency sought $93.3 million for Hubble and $68.7 million for Chandra, amounts largely in line with previous years. However, these allocations only represent slightly over 10% of the total astrophysics budget. Another concern arises from the continued operation of Hubble, which technically should have been non-functional by now. Yet, due to its unparalleled capabilities, it remains preferable to sustain its observations. NASA has made significant investments in and currently oversees the operation of the James Webb Telescope. Meanwhile, the future Nancy Grace Roman Telescope is nearing completion in its clean rooms. Additionally, China is preparing to launch its own version of the Hubble Telescope called Stian next year. Despite these advancements, NASA has been inundated with calls each year to either preserve or retrieve Hubble. Responding to these concerns, NASA agreed last year to consider proposals for various types of service missions. SpaceX's bold move to rescue Hubble Telescope, it's time to enlist support from the private sector and guess who answered the call? You're right, it's SpaceX, NASA's close collaborator. In September 22, 2022, NASA and SpaceX entered into an unfunded Space Act agreement to explore the feasibility of a proposal from SpaceX and the Polaris program. This proposal aims to maneuver NASA's Hubble Space Telescope into a higher orbit using the Dragon spacecraft, all at zero cost to the government. The study, initiated by SpaceX and the Polaris program, seeks to gain insights into the technical challenges associated with servicing missions. Importantly, this research is non-exclusive allowing other companies to propose similar investigations using different rockets or spacecraft. 
The teams anticipate completing the investigation within six months, during which they will gather technical data from both the Hubble telescope and the SpaceX Dragon mission. This information will help determine the feasibility of safely docking the telescope and manoeuvring it into a more stable orbit. Jared Isaacman, the billionaire supporting SpaceX's Polaris program for private astronaut missions, suggested that a Hubble mission could be the second of three planned Polaris missions. For those unaware, the Polaris program, a collaboration with SpaceX, was unveiled in 2022. It aims to conduct up to three human spaceflight missions to showcase new technologies. The inaugural mission, Polaris Dawn, is slated for the fourth quarter of 2023, where the Dragon spacecraft will carry four astronauts approximately 870 miles above Earth. The upcoming third mission, slated to be SpaceX's inaugural human flight aboard Starship, marks a significant milestone, comparable to the Apollo mission to the Moon. Following reports of technical issues with the telescope, Isaacman reiterated his proposal suggesting that this mission could extend Hubble's lifespan by a decade. He envisioned a future where Starship could retrieve the telescope from orbit and transport it to Earth for display in a museum. Additionally, he raised the possibility of repairing the telescope, noting advancements in gyroscopes and computers. However, not all experts share Isaacman's optimism regarding Hubble's repair feasibility, citing limitations such as Crew Dragon lacking an airlock or manipulator arm. Despite being funded by billionaires' personal finances, there are concerns and scepticism within the expert community. NASA will still need to allocate time and resources for preparation and support, which could pose a challenge. As mentioned earlier, the organization is contemplating cost reductions for the Hubble project due to existing budget constraints. Additionally, the space community has expressed interest in Isaac M's proposal. While specific details about the mission execution remain undisclosed, there is speculation that the second Polaris mission may involve a spacewalk. This speculation stems from NASA's past Endeavour in 1993, when astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour conducted five spacewalks to manually repair the telescope. The astronauts successfully carried out repairs, installing a device comprising ten small mirrors. These mirrors intercepted light from the primary mirror and corrected its pathway to the sensors. Subsequently, the Hubble Space Telescope began capturing some of the most breathtaking images of space we've ever witnessed. However, this achievement also brings to light several challenges in EVIA suits and spacecraft engineering. It's probable that the suits won't offer sufficient maneuverability to facilitate the replacement of the gyroscope systems. Additionally, there are concerns about safely containing the gyroscopes on board while docked, as well as ensuring the proper orientation of the engines. The Crew Dragon's main engines are situated beneath the launch arrow cover, evenly spaced around the docking adapter. The four black circles visible on the craft are likely attachment points for reboosting. It's anticipated that they will connect to the prototype docking port which resembles the ISS port located on the rear of the Hubble. The arrangement of the trunk makes accessing its interior quite challenging. Coupled with modifications such as handlebars on the Dragon craft, servicing Hubble becomes significantly more arduous. Consequently, it's increasingly probable that a future NASA mission will utilize a starship possibly by docking a Crew Dragon to it for safety and employing a robotic arm to aid in repairs. NASA astronauts, equipped with new orbital EVA suits, would assist in upgrades. What are your thoughts on NASA's solution to rescue the Hubble telescope? Feel free to share your ideas in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.